YouTube, what's going on YouTube? It's Louis Fernandez here with another video. All right guys, this video I wanted to make, it's regarding being a contained monster. I know the title is gonna throw some people off, but you're gonna understand why uh, a contained monster is absolutely necessary for you uh, at the end of this video. So to get right into it, uh, let me say this first. I'm a real estate agent here in York, Lancaster, Harrisburg, Adams County area. If you know anybody, and I mean anybody looking to buy or sell a home here in York, Lancaster, Harrisburg, and Adams County area, Hanover area, please send them all away. The Lloyd Fernandez team, we're getting things done. And we also speak English and Spanish. So, si tu conoces a alguien que quiere comprar casa aquí en York, Lancaster, Harrisburg, Adams County, Hanover area, area, por favor, mándalo para nosotros, para nosotros puedo ayudarlo. All right, guys, to get right into it. Being a contained monster. Why is that necessary? Why is that necessary for success? All right, so I wanna get right into that. The reason that's what is necessary is because if you are not slightly dangerous or capable of being dangerous, there's two things that is gonna affect you. One, confidence. Two, lack of confidence, let me say that. Two, three things, I'm sorry, fear, and the third, respect from others, right? All right, I'm gonna break that down for you. I, I, I seen this myself, uh, uh, a video, a YouTube video of Jordan Peterson. I'm sure somebody out there knows who that is watching this. So it, it, it stems from that, I seen that, and I wanted to give it to you guys, but it also is very true, and I feel like it's very, very true from my experiences, right? So, being a contained monster, why Why is that important? Those three reasons, confidence, fear, and respect. And how does that correlate with that, right? I'm gonna explain that to you right now really quick. I don't wanna to, to get the video drawn out. But basically, when it comes to confidence, if you have never been through something, uh, a confrontation, or you never, been in this uncomfortable situation or you never been in the dangerous situation you never disagreed with somebody you never went against somebody whether it's verbally physical if what happens is if you get into a situation like that you're not gonna have the confidence you're not gonna have the confidence confidence could be could help you in so many ways confidence could help you succeed in that if that goes to the next level confidence could help you show the confidence and that might de-escalate the situation just because of your confidence you don't even have to verbally or physically do anything at all um, also uh, confidence allows you to make better decisions having confidence and not needing so much input from others and reassurance right so fear kind of correlates with the confidence thing right the fear will have you not take certain risks because you got to take risks in order to to make something happen in your life right so fear will cause you to not take a risk fear will cause you not to depending on what the situation is it, you will not uh bring up an issue right or if you're representing people if you have fear you're not gonna be able to represent them properly, defend somebody properly, question somebody, right? So these are all important things when it comes to success. You can't be afraid to question somebody. You can't be afraid of confrontation. I'm not saying you need to be a person that's confrontational either, but you also can't be afraid of it either. That's why this is called a contained monster, right? And the, and the last one that I wanna get into is respect. If you're a pushover, right, correct, Correct me if I'm wrong, but people aren't gonna respect you as much. I'm not saying people won't respect you as a human being, but there are people that will see that and look at it as a sign of weakness, and then they will try to run over you, right? Um, so that's a problem. And then also, even if people are not like that, if you're coming across, you know, like like how I'm explaining. A person isn't gonna take you serious, right? Like if they're, if you say something, if you're saying, hey, if, if you don't stop this, this is gonna happen, or if 
you know, I think this is, they're not gonna take you serious because there's no respect for you, right? Because they see that you're a pushover. They see that you're like afraid, you're not confident, you have fear. That's a problem. You gotta get that out of you. Honestly, if you wanna succeed, you gotta get it all out of you. You have to stop worrying about what people think, right? So how does this correlate into being a monster? I say this, being a contained monster is important because you have to go through things. Become You gotta become a monster to a certain extent. Obviously, I'm not talking about doing anything crazy or anything like that, but you gotta become a monster and then transition to the contained monster. And that's the perfect formula to for success, right? Because when you become a monster, right? If you put yourself in uncomfortable situations, put yourself in confrontational situations, um, you have those experiences. I'm not saying put yourself in those situations, but you have that experience under your belt. And you know what you're capable of. You, When you know what you're capable of as a human, because all of us humans are capable of violence and everything. When you know that you're capable of that, you can contain that because that's not good to do. Violence is not good at all. But the fact that you know that you're capable of it, right, allows you to walk with confidence, less fear, gain respect from people. And you don't have to do those things. Just the fact that you have the experience under your belt allows you to make better decision making, not be afraid, okay to question somebody, defend somebody, not be scared, and also come across with confidence. So therefore, people are gonna respect you more. People are gonna treat you different. You don't necessarily have to do anything or say anything. It's just gonna be, um, it's just gonna come off like that, your aura. Like they're just gonna respect you. And then as they see you speaking and, and things like that, they're gonna respect you because they can see that you're, you're, you have confidence, confidence and you're not afraid of confrontation if you disagree or whatever the case may be. So that's why you have to be a contained monster. And that's why I always, um, I always promote doing some type of uh, martial arts training, putting yourself in sparring, any martial art that involves sparring, which means you really going with somebody. You know, you gotta spar, like boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, uh, Judo, all that. Like that'll put you in situations and you'll, you'll go full on with people and you'll know what you're capable of. You know, like, oh, there's a monster inside of me. Not saying that you're gonna go out to the real world and, 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 and do this. Hopefully you never have to. I mean, if you have to defend yourself and you're in a bad situation, of course, but hopefully that never happens. But you know what you're capable of. Instead of being unaware and that unawareness can cause you to have fear. That unawareness can cause you to have a lack of confidence. Or that also that unawareness can cause you to put yourself in a situation because maybe one day you might want to find out. And you're doing to do it in the wrong. Hopefully you don't do it in the wrong situation. But a lot of times people do. They'll do it out in the streets or somewhere. And that's not the place to find that out. Because you could die. You could hurt somebody. Or there's big consequences to that, right? So people that have maybe a rough background come from a lot of bad situations. You can turn that around. If you was capable of um, being a monster, you can turn that around and become a contained monster. And that's a powerful tool right there that you have. And you can use that to succeed in life. Contain it. Understand what you're capable of. Use it for confidence, fear, not violence. And in business and just in life, and you will succeed along with a lot of other things, but this is a main component to it. All right, so this is why I'm explaining to you about being a contained monster. Putting yourself, you can put yourself in these situations without having to go through bad experiences. Like I said, you can put martial arts training, you can put yourself in uncomfortable situations, speaking in front of large people, doing things that you didn't think you were gonna do by just doing it. You can do it the safe way. And then you know what you're made of. And you're like, I can do things when I don't think I could do it. I know I could perform under pressure. I know I could perform when I'm, excuse me, when I'm in an uncomfortable situation. I know I could handle confrontation. I know I could do this. So then that all translates into your personal life and into your business. And then you're able to make better decisions, be a better leader, be a uh, business leader. And if you have people following you and you're just a better capable human. And especially as a man, especially as a man, because you know, with business and being the leader of the family and all that, I mean, especially as a man, because it's expected of us also. 
I mean, let's be real. So guys, wanted to make that quick video being a contained monster. So there's any people out there that have a history of, you know, whatever, whatever, and they think they can't be successful because of it, no, you definitely can. Because you can use that, contain it, use it internally instead of outwardly like you were, and use it for your benefit. Because you have something special that maybe some other people in whatever it is you're trying to do don't have that confidence, that lack of fear, that... You know, and you can use that to get yourself to success. All right, guys. So I make videos like this and others. So go to the YouTube channel, like, comment, subscribe. I have plenty more like this. This is one of my mindset videos, being a contained monster. Uh, I do real estate in York, Lancaster, Harrisburg, Adams County area, Hanover. If you know anybody looking to buy or sell real estate, please, please, please send them away. The Louis Fernandez team will get it done. And if you also, we speak English and Spanish. So si tu conoces a alguien que quiere comprar casa aquí en York, Lancaster, Harrisburg, por favor, mándalo para nosotros, para nosotros poder ayudarlo. All right, guys, like I always say, I wish you luck, I wish you success, and I wish you good health. Peace, YouTube.